as much as we are making strides, we also need to face reality and understand there are challenges. And the major one that we are grappling and hoping to tie it around so it becomes a win-win is the utility challenge. For those of us in the sector working with the stakeholders, we know that that is a major challenge. So we can assure you that with this team and leadership, we will work assiduously to make sure that the energy ministry and stakeholders, energy commission and ourselves, the people engaged in the hotel and hospitality business will have some kind of a win-win. Either it's conservation, energy savings, or some kind of agreement that we are working on. So our utility will either get a special rate to boost the industry. It is not within our purview. So it will take dialogue, it will take lobbying, and it will take some kind of policy uh, arrangement. So work with us. And please believe that that is one of the very challenges you have that we are working around the clock to bring some kind of relief for you. The second one is promotion. Marketing and promotion of Ghana as a preferred destination. We see that as a challenge. And as we deliberate today, when we get finance and you do a project and nobody knows about it, you have already lost about 10% of your investment. So as we deliberate, please... Uh, let's also add that to our dialogue. Let's find innovative, cost-effective ways of selling Ghana so people will come to visit our country. Yes, we have some kind of challenges. Sanitation is key in our industry. It goes hand in hand. That is why we have ministries that we collaborate with. So this year, we have tasked GTDC to look for investments around tourist size. So GTA will support them and other agencies within the ministry will help us bring some kind of sanity to our tourist side, especially investments in sanitation uh, roads leading to the sites, two kilometer, one kilometer, little things that we can do to make our sites competitive.